Hello everyone, my name is Kristen Fry and I am one of the two functions math teachers here at Arno High School. You can see my email and phone information, I think, let's see, there's my phone information. So email and phone information. A little bit about me, uh, I went to the University of Minnesota Duluth. This is my 26th year teaching high school math and my 22nd year teaching here at Orono. I'm married to my wonderful husband, Jimmy, and we have two cats, Diesel and Harley. Uh, for our course syllabus, class expectations are just to kind of be prepared each day, come to class, have a seat. We'll have tasks on the board for students to help get them ready for when we begin. During class, I just ask for participation. Um, what that looks like each day could be a little bit different uh, and just kind of stay engaged and definitely ask questions and then just work until the end of the hour or unless they complete their tasks early. So far, we've had a really great start to our school year. Uh, some other things to think about, I'm definitely available for questions. So I know we all come from various math, ex math experiences in the past couple of years especially. Uh, so please understand uh, that I am here to help your student be successful in this class. This is an upper level math class and a lot of concepts from Algebra 2 last year will be embedded through application this year. Definitely encourage your student to come in either before school or after school or utilize Spartan Hour as an option to get help if needed. I've even had students email me uh, with questions after hours if they're at home working on homework. They send a picture of the work that they're um, looking at if they get stuck on something and I can look at it and give them some pointers to help get them on track so they can complete their tasks. As far as grading purposes, uh, we are broken down into a 90-10 grade breakdown. The 90 would be the summative assessments, the 10 would be their formative. Formative will include both daily work and quizzes, checkpoint quizzes that they'll take throughout the chapter. Summative will be their end of chapter tests and the semester final. Our grade scale breakdown, they need 60% to get credit for the course, and you can see the breakdown for each of the letter grades from there, and that is the standard math grade scale. Other than that, um, some important things to consider Roll down here. Sorry about that. If a student is absent, um, please have please make sure to call school immediately just so that we can get it into our system. And students have also emailed me if they're going to be absent so that we can come up with a game plan and I can um, lead them to Schoology so that they know exactly where to go to find their missed materials. If a student is gone on a test day, it must be excused um, and they'll take their test the day they come back. If you miss the day before, they'll still be expected to take that test. Um, if it's an unexcused absence, unfortunately, the score will stay zero in the grade book. So hopefully there won't be any issues with that. Retakes, students can retake in this class up to 80% on a, on a summative assessment as long as their work is turned in on the original test day. We talked about that in class, uh, making sure that we're doing our practice work every day. That should give us the best case scenario on our assessments. And let's see, academic dishonesty. We just hope that students are using their own resources and not looking for outside ways to get uh, help on things. Um, so students are welcome to work together. I absolutely encourage that. They can ask for help. Uh, we just hope that academic dishonesty will not be an issue. Last but not least, I ask students to just try their best every day. I will do the same, and that'll look different, like I said before, it look different every day. So we're just going to do the best we can. We'll keep our expectations high, be respectful. Um, cell phones do not count for calculator use. So if you know your student is in need of a calculator, we just require a scientific calculator for our class. I do have some extras in the classroom, um, but not enough for everybody. So if you know your student may need a calculator and you can get your hands on one, that would be great. Otherwise, like I said, I do have extras in the classroom uh, for that use. And then last but not least, just try your best to stay caught up. If you have any questions about our syllabus or how your student is doing in particular, please feel free to send me an email. Um, I look forward to a great school year and working with your students throughout the semester. Thank you.